was recently contacted by a reader on my website and asked if this 2998-2 with a lollipop and a base 1000 bezel was cheap. Well, let's have a look. Sale finished on July the 9th, 2022 and achieved 17,200 US dollars, $25,000 Australian. A watch is located in Australia. A couple of things. Uh, the seller appears to be a private seller. Said his partner inherited it 23 years ago, kept in a safe for good keeping. Since her father's passing, we never serviced the watch. So the watch has not been serviced for 23 years, has only come out in a handful of occasions. Good. Let's see if what we have bears out his description. Absolutely not. Here is a counterfeit base 1000 bezel. These were made in about five years ago for the first time. And so this has been fitted since they inherited the watch 23 years ago because there were no counterfeit base 1000 bezels 23 years ago. The carrier ring is completely flawless. The paint is uh, very black and the fonts, when you look at them closely, uh, they do not match the original Amiga supplied bezel. So, liar. And next is this long indices on the subdial. If we compare an original 2998, and I'll move it over on that side so we can see, these indices here are short and these indices here are long. You can also see straight away that the uh, fonts are quite different and there's marks on this bezel and also a ding in the side. Um, the, it, the, the newness of this bezel is not the confirmation that it's fake. The fonts are the confirmation. The alerts are the newness and the carrier ring and the paint, but the confirmation comes from the fonts. The dial must be from a later watch or a service dial. The hands, we always look at the hands, are they flat, are they curved? Can't really tell in this photograph, but you know, we're already so far down the road of service parts, one would probably assume that there's a chance that these are serviced. This lollipop, it is seen on 2998-2s, but I'm pretty convinced that there is an Australian distributor of remade lollipop hands, so it is possible that this watch was fixed up in Australia like that. So uh, we have polished lugs, uh, service pushers, service crown. Let's go on and see what else we've got. Oh my goodness. So. This is a jeweler's finish on the side. It's not an Amiga finish. Uh, blurred lines on the top, blurred case and everything, badly fitted end link. I don't blame anybody for this particularly. It's very difficult to get the Amiga finish uh, and it probably, it might look better than it was before, but it's still been done. Here we've got the same finish. Um, service pusher, service crown, you can tell that from the round Amiga symbol badly fitting end link big red alert there and look at that all that sort of nibbling case cancer dirt you know that's not dirt that's uh, that's corrosion thank you very much now we can have confirmation that uh, the bezel is counterfeit oh, 160 so uh, first part of 1960 that bracelet was made fits with the extract uh, another confirmation of the counterfeit bezel on the back here we see that this number six on the end link is um, unusual enough to make me want to check the end link for correctness. Uh, it may or may not be correct. Uh, normally with 7077s we see big fat double links here but we don't see them here. Oh well. Uh, there's so much else wrong with the watch uh, you know. And here we see another picture of that six, which I don't like. Hard cut off on the pusher underneath, which indicates service. Here we see the difference in size of the bevels. 
indicating the case back has had some attention probably trying to get rid of these big deep marks and then it's been in a lathe not too bad I mean it, it happens once you know and you see the service dial the service or not service counterfeit bezel you know you think well what am I buying you know and is that lollipop real I'd take it off and have a look underneath it's very hard to, oh my goodness now I say oh my goodness because the color of this is dirty look at how dirt there uh, screw heads are all damaged Car column wheel is complete um, colors don't match very well it can happen in original watches but it does make you know when everything else is so dodgy you start to wonder now I would say that this green background often seen in jewelers photographs oh I just seen that see that the loose part inside <laughs> Oh, where's that? I'm sure. I'm sure one of you watchmakers out there can identify that part, but that should not be loose. <laughs> um, 2998. Uh, and there we have it, December 1960. So, is this watch cheap? No, it's not. It's a dog. It's a dog. I mean, it's been cleaned up to sell. No judgment there. Um, but the seller either knows that things have been added and isn't saying or really doesn't know in which case how did that bezel get on it if it's been in his safe keeping for 23 years doesn't make any sense 25 uh, 17,000 dollars 25 Australian dollars is is um, is cheap for a 2998 but it's not cheap if it isn't a 2998 and if it hasn't got the base 1000 bezel and it hasn't got the dial then it's not really a 2998 so, no, this was not a good deal. If you bought it, send it back. Tell them I sent you.